be classified as an art because multiple forms of art are embedded directly into the sport. For example, rowing, much like art, focuses on the importance of symmetry. In the arts, symmetry can be used by the artist to give a sense of balance to his or her work. Historically, many famous artists use symmetry in their paintings because it is aesthetically pleasing and creates unity in the work and brings a sense of balance to the viewer. For example, the School of Athens, painted by Italian Renaissance artist Raphael, is famous for its display of complex symmetry through his use of central archways and the orientation of the figures. The artistic division of architecture also focuses around symmetry. One of the most famous buildings when it comes to symmetrical architecture is the Taj Mahal. The building itself is aesthetically pleasing at almost every angle, and the entire structure is even reflected in a pool of water in front of the entrance. Much like artistic symmetry, a boat is divided equally on each side. In an eight-person boat, there are four oars, and in a single-person shell, the rower has two oars. This symmetry is necessary to maintain balance in the boat and keep the crew moving forward. Rowers must perform at a certain rate of strokes per minute so as to stay on time with one another and keep a steady cadence. This is similar to musicians who write and perform songs at a certain tempo. During a race, it is the coxswain's job to keep all of her rowers at the same pace, which sounds like this. Out of 31, let's plank it down to one more beat. Rhythm is vital to the sport of rowing in the same way that it is vital to composers and musicians. It keeps the process organized and on track and produces beautiful results. You've got to practice with tremendous uh, focus and intensity and uh, discipline and structure and organization and, uh, and energy. Rowing, like any other art form, has the ability to inspire a flood of various emotions, which can range from a sense of tranquility and composure to a shock of energy and a feeling of well-controlled chaos. When we go to London, we're preparing for that perfect race. And I've been visualizing multiple times. Every time I go for a run, every time I'm in the boat, we visualize what we want to do on race day. Holy smokes are flying. meters ago you're just building off that crowd you're listening to my voice 200 meters ago you're just building to that finish line and then just 10 strokes ago you're just emptying the tank and so it's just it's gonna be a great great race win or lose we're just gonna do it together and we're gonna bend those oars